Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Cyril. I'm the creator behind Cyril Cyber Nathan. And today, Monsoon is here. She just got a she headed bath. And today, we are unboxing plants sent by our friends over at Coro Soil. If you want to check them out, by the way, if you are not following me yet on Instagram, it's at Cyril Cybernated. I should be posting that here. And the awesome plant friends that we are going to review the plants of are from Chloro Soil Indonesia and I will be posting their Instagram and their website over here also on the link um, I mean also the link will be posted on the description below anyways let's get started because um, you guys know me we love a plant, plant unboxing videos so on this channel and this is my first video um, that I am recording in our new place if you can see it's still a mess but and we're just gonna show you the real situation in here. So it's been only a little over two weeks since we moved in here and the cats seem to love it. And I'm glad that this plant mail got here on time. So Chloro Soil is based in um, my Southeast Asian neighbor country, Indonesia. If you're from Indonesia and you're watching this video, say hi and comment down below. Um, and while you're watching, anyways, of course, um, I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe. So we just opened the, the cover of this package that I got through DHL. So the process is, of course, if you order on the Chorus Oil website, it takes a few weeks. And that's just the norm if you're ordering from Indonesia. I have ordered um, a few instances from Indonesia, especially um, the plants that are only growing in Indonesia are the ones that I'm usually looking after. So, here is how it looks. Fancy, this is quite different because the box is really beautiful. And I love this warm yellow, canary yellow color. And the seal says, original sealed by Chlorosoil House Plants. www.chlorosoil.com By the way, if you guys would love to order from Chlorosoil. They have been kind enough to give you guys a discount code that's Chlorosoil X Cyril for some discount on your order. And let's, oh, I think I'm, so I think it's this way, but I don't think it'll matter because I feel like it is packaged nice and well anyways. So I will show you how it is. I'm just laying on the floor. So it opened up like this and there's a really cute card. I love the branding. First of all, it says Chlorosoil, the healing power of plants with cute monstera leaves borders. And it does have, it is a care card. So it says how to care or acclimate your plants after receiving the plants from them. So this is really helpful because if you're not someone who imports plants often, this card is, uh, I think, really helpful for first timers and even for ones that order often like me. It's setting your expectations, right? And there's a thank you card as well. And there's a QR code and there's some more branding, which I love. A good company that owns their branding is a successful company in my opinion. Um, by the way, I did see the packing slip or I already got it from the um, outside of the package and we are expecting five plants in here. I will not name them because I will show you as we unbox the plants, okay? Ooh, so I don't know what do you, what do you call these, pillow fillers? So these are the ones that they use and I, I already love what I see. And Monsoon is just enjoying. So this is how the plants are packaged. Ooh. I almost unveiled it immediately. So the first one is a Philodendron Florida Ghost. I'm not sure. Well, it's probably inverted. So I'm using my phone here. So I'm just gonna use my cutter to expose the plants. So if you are gonna be new to importing plants overseas, they go through a very thorough process of getting cleaned um, to make sure that, you know, no unwanted visitors or hitchhikers would join them on their trip. So this is the Florida ghost and looks like the newest leaf is very ghostly. So this one's crumpled up a little bit, but judging, you know what, let us open the thingy so that we would see how they are packaged. So they are slowly and carefully packed on 
what looks like um, cardboard paper or um, I would say cartolina paper. If you're Filipino, you'd know what I meant when I say like cartolina. So those are just cardboard papers or construction paper. And they wrap it in saran wrap, um, most likely to make sure that the moisture is sealed in. And they wrap their root ball or the base of the plant with some tissue paper. Okay, let's just open the tissue paper and we're gonna look at the roots. Now, if you haven't imported a lot, just set your expectations that because they go through a very thorough process of, of getting cleaned out and inspected, that's why the plants take a while because it's actually the um, a certification and getting that phytosanitary certificate from the country's agricultural branch is what takes time. I mean, harvesting the plants, cleaning them up, plus to save the company usually they do that it's at cert during certain batches or cutoffs as well so that you know it's just more efficient so we are almost done unboxing the f unboxing unwrapping the first one so i can still feel that the paper towel or the tissue rather is still moist and what we're gonna see are healthy roots so it looks like it is a top cut from a plant, mature plant. I'm so excited because I don't think, well, this one in the background actually was supposed to be a Florida ghost, but through the years it reverted. It was ghostly like this in the beginning, but now mm, probably, be, you know, I haven't really chopped it. Normally what I write is if you chop the plant and they will go back to their ghostly stage. But that's why I'm so excited to get this Florida ghost because it gives me a new start. and. Since it is shorter and more compact, it gives me the ability to start all over again, stick this in one of the shelves to fit um, and get enough light. Next is an Alocasia cupria. So I did get a starter one and I am so excited because for some reason that cupria of mine just doesn't grow right. and a few years ago just a little bit of story time they were so hard to acquire i had to import from europe and it's kind of refreshing that you oh my god wow this is so amazing so the old leaves or the older leaves rather of course will yellow but you can see the quality of the matured new leaf here so of course through time in just a matter of days i'm sure the older leaves will fall on their own um, to save us some time, I would not unwrap this, I'm assuming. And, well, if it doesn't take a while, let me see. The alocasias are, um, have bulbs at the bottom or at the base of the plant anyway. So, as long as the bulbs are firm and compact, um, it should be good. You don't want them to be mushy, mushy. Um, and they automatically regrow most of the time. So, that's what I've been experiencing with alocasia so this should be a really nice specimen i can't wait to put this in lechuza pond because all my alocasias that are in pond are just thriving and loving life and right now well my my friends know that that's really my preferred way of growing plants now because it's just so easy to keep the watering and the conditions consistent for them that's why they thrive so i'm just wrapping this a little faster than how oh, I did the other one so I could show you the root ball. This is such a nice surprise. I love that it's so matured. And it's also in the process of putting out a new leaf if you can see it back. I love mine is not as matured as this. So once the, so see this one I could already peel off because it's gonna fall anyways. And this one I'll just let nature takes it, take its course. That's our second plant. So we got an alocasia, a um, cupria, and a philodendron Florida ghost. And this one is what I'm also excited about. It is a philodendron melanochrysum medium leaves. So this is what really caught my attention on their website. Of course, I noticed that their stocks changed based on availability, but they have a good number of variety of plants, not just alocasias, not just philodendrons. Um, but today's order, will be mainly those philip philodendrons alocasias and an anthurium so let's open this one 
So I did have some Milano Chrysum, but they were so juvenile. So I am excited to get a little more mature and a little more mature. And um, I can't wait for this one to grow out. The Milano Chrysum leaves are so mesmerizing because they are just so bronzy when they're young like this and they turn darker green. So this one is in a really good position and condition, by the way. Look at that. I can't wait. So I will let this climb um, a moss bowl because I want to achieve that, you know, trailing, not trailing, but climbing Melanocrysum with larger leaves. And then of course, next one would be an alo an, an Ethereum Crystallina medium leaves. So they do distinguish the, oh, they also have a packing slip over here. Okay, my phone almost died. A packing slip, slip over here. And let me just open because we're down with the last two plants. And I will show you. you. You've seen the quality of plants and I'll tell you um, what my thoughts are as we cap our discussion. So why did I get an Anthurium crystallinum? Because one of my first Anthuriums was an Anthurium crystallinum. And at that time, I got it from a local plant um what do you call that? A plant event. And it's always been an easier anthurium for me. So as soon as I get another chance to acquire more. Actually, where did I keep my crystal? Oh, it's in the living room right now. So stay tuned because we are gonna do a house tour soon. And if you're asking me what are the easier yet very showy and flashy anthuriums, I would still suggest and highly recommend a crystallinum or crystallinum. Um just because the name itself I don't think that the amount of grow light, I mean spotlight, on this current setup will give it justice, but the white lines on the leaves are actually filled with very fine, tiny crystals. And that's probably why it got its name like that. But it's so beautiful, it's so easy. I will put this on Lechuza Pond as well. And in my experience, they're not that finicky or choosy when it comes to the fluctuation in humidity, so they really do well. Um, so far, this room doesn't have any humidifiers. This has carpet on it, so I don't really want to use a humidifier when there's carpet around, unlike our old home where it was all hardwood floors. Um, this one is in a building this time, and this the bedrooms have carpet, so I'm not really comfortable setting up a humidifier. Maybe when I, um, you know, when I f feel like there is a, a big difference, but so far, I feel like the plants are acclimating just okay. And we are opening the last one. As you can see, it, it, it looks super huge and promising. And this is what I'm probably, what I'm looking forward to because this alocasia is endemic to the Philippines. And the one that I got was from a really small starter plant. And although my specimen is starting to develop into more matured leaves it would still take a few years so i was so stoked when chlorosoil had these um available on their website and, and oh monsoon is already crying we're gonna wrap this up come here come here so i could open the door and so i will show you why you should get an alocasia clypeolata and look at the amount or the size rather of this specimen. So isn't this amazing? Okay, so oh this one is also blooming. Okay, so of course when you import the older larger leaves with most likely yellow like this, it's not alarming. What you're always gonna look for for alocasia is especially our healthy bulbs or if they're they're philodendrons or anthuriums um healthy stems. So I'm not so bothered with the yellowing. It just shows like how matured this plant is. So this is the newest leaf and this is the second newest leaf. So they're just so beautiful. Um, even at the this stage where it's transitioning from an ombre yellow to bright lime green, it is so stunning. And I will show you this flower in the back. <laughs> so yes, this is so exciting. So we have two alocasias the Cupria and Clypeolata, which are so alien-esque. I mean, a few years ago, I would have not imagined that I'd still 
love them, knowing that they are, well, they have this reputation of being spider mite magnets, but somehow I've managed to prevent that. And then we also have one anthurium, which is the anthurium crystallinum, which is a really good starter anthurium, if you ask me. And this is one of a, a well, I would say harder to find philodendron, especially on this size. So chlorosoil just has or tag these as medium leaves. So I think at some point they have like larger leaves or even smaller leaves. But these are very beautiful if you want like climbing philodendrons. The Melanochrysum is a really good option. And just lastly, another philodendron, Philodendron Florida Ghost. It's always going to be one of my first loves when it comes to philodendron because I love the lacy leaves and then the fact that it has bright white leaves when it, when you know, it, it puts out a young leaf. It's just mesmerizing. The ghost is indeed um, timely for this season because it's going to be Halloween season. So packaging wise, they were packed really well. Um, after it shipped, it was last week, it just got here, and today is a Monday that I'm recording this. And I believe it was shipped a Thursday, if not a Friday, last week from Indonesia. So that the shipping itself is very fast. Um, it is the moment that you place your order and the moment that they have to secure all the inspection, the necessary phytosanitary certificates that you have to wait for and be patient. Um, but I could see, and I you could also see that the quality of plants are worth the wait. Um, you might want to take that into consideration if you're living in a state that is gonna soon turn colder but of course you could always save this video as a reference for spring because you know um, my neighbors in Asia the weather is always perfect there it's just us here in the US that experience four seasons so that's something that you want to um, consider but plant wise and quality wise okay monsoon is already rushing me she wants to go out um, the plants are really good. Again, if you want to get a discount, you could use Chlorosoil X Cyril. I'll be putting the code here. Also, check out Chlorosoil. Their website is chlorosoil.com. They are on Instagram at chlorosoil. And um, just, I would love to hear from you which one of these plants really caught your attention. Or you might have noticed that most of these plants I already have had in the past or I still have. They are just not like, you know, Instagram worthy specimens anymore so that's why i'm restarting and i wanted to like start from the beginning and see if i could cultivate them into nicer plants so yes again thank you for watching this video um stay tuned for the next content i will try my best to put out more youtube content these days and again thank you for watching and subscribe bye